Yo, what is up guys? Aaron here. And today, I'm gonna show you guys 10 useful tips and settings for your S22 Ultra or pretty much any Samsung device. Now, some of these tips you guys might already know and some of these might be new to you, but I found these tips to be pretty useful to enhance your user experience. Now, I can go through a whole list of settings that you can go through, but for today's video, I just narrowed it down to 10. So without further ado, let's get started. The first tip is what I do on all my devices, and that's to enable developer options. However, it's what we do in developer options that gives you the best experience. So first we're gonna go to settings, about phone, tap your build number seven times. And then after we do that, the developer options should show. From there, we're gonna open developer options and we're gonna change the animation speed. This will give you a more smooth and snappy experience, especially if you have an older device. So we're gonna scroll down to window animation scale and turn that off. Transition animation scale, turn that off as well. And animator duration scale, put that at 0.5x. So as you can see, when you scroll through a page, open a window or transition between different screens, you get a much smoother and snappier experience. This could also potentially increase battery life, but I wouldn't count on it. Now, before we get into tip number two, I wanna thank Skillshare for sponsoring today's video. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes to help you learn and develop new skills. Whether you're into technology, photography, or even just self-development, Skillshare is filled with inspiring videos to boost your creativity. Some of my favorite classes include YouTube Success taught by Marcus Brownlee, who has been a huge influence in the tech world, and also Ali Abdal's Productivity Masterclass, which has helped me tremendously on how to stay organized and be productive on a daily basis. The best part about Skillshare is that they're constantly launching new premium classes each week and all their videos are ad-free. So Skillshare is actually hooking up the first 1,000 people to a free month of Skillshare or just by using my code Aaron Kim by clicking the link in the description below. Absolutely an amazing value, a full month to improve your knowledge and discover new skills completely for free. So don't wait to expand your knowledge and take your next step in your creative journey. All right guys, for tip number two, it's a pretty simple one and it's just an easy way to adjust the brightness of your screen. All right guys, so in order to enable this function, we're gonna swipe down the notification panel twice. You'll see the three red dots on the right. We're gonna tap that and then go to quick panel layout and then you'll see brightness control. We're gonna tap on that and go to show always. Now, as you can see, when you swipe down the screen once, you have the brightness slider on top. It's just a quick and easy way to adjust the brightness of your screen without having to swipe down twice. And the third tip, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know, and that's the one-handed mode. I found this to be pretty useful when I'm in the bathroom brushing my teeth and I have to use the phone with one hand, um, or if you guys have a really big phone or even small hands, I think this will be really useful. So again, we're gonna go to settings and then advanced features and just enable one-handed mode. That's pretty much it. All you gotta do is just double tap the home button and if you wanna bring it back, just double tap it again. Also, if you go back to advanced features again, you'll see mute with gestures and palm swipe to capture. You can go ahead and enable those as a pretty good quality of life feature. So if someone annoying ever calls you, you can just glance at the phone, put it face down, and it'll mute the phone. Now the palm swipe to capture, I'm sure a lot of people won't be using, but still, it's a pretty cool feature to have. Now the fourth tip is an easy privacy setting you can change in the notification panel, and that's the camera and microphone access. You never know when some apps are secretly using your camera or your microphone in the background, and the easiest way to make sure it is disabled is just by tapping the button in the notification panel. So in the notification panel, we're just gonna swipe all the way to the right and click on the addition button. And then from there, there's microphone access and camera access. So every time you have these on, you'll know that no app is taking control of your camera and your microphone. And also while we're here, you guys can go ahead and add the extra dim function as well. This is really helpful at night when it's dark and you're chilling in bed on your phone. This will be much easier on your eyes. All right guys, this next feature is a pretty useful one when it comes to taking screenshots and that's removing the navigation and status bar. Whenever you're taking screenshots, the status and navigation bar just gives it a super messy look. So we're gonna go ahead and remove that. Uh, first, we're gonna go to settings, advanced features, and then we're gonna go to screenshots and screen recorder and hide status and navigation bar. Simple as that, no more messy screenshots. 
Now the sixth cool tip is the floating bubbles feature. Floating bubbles feature is just a quick and easy way to get in and out of your conversations. So first we're gonna open settings and then tap notifications. Then we're gonna go to advanced settings and then we're gonna tap floating notifications. From there, we're gonna choose bubbles. Next, we're gonna open a messages app, tap more options icon, the three vertical dots, and then tap settings. Then we're gonna tap notifications and then tap show as bubbles. From here, you can choose having all conversations like that or just select it only. So as you can see, it's a pretty neat feature to have. It's going in and out of conversations without having the app taking up the whole screen. All right, guys, the next tip involves the S Pen with air actions. And I'm sorry if you guys don't have a Note or the S22 Ultra, you guys can go ahead and skip over this. But if you do, then keep watching. So I found air actions to be pretty useful when it comes to the camera. If you want to take a family photo or just a selfie from a distance, this is an awesome tool to utilize. So first, we're just going to go to settings and then we're gonna to go to advanced features, S Pen, air actions, and just turn it on from there. You can also set your hold down button to pretty much open up any app you want. I have mine set to camera. So as you can see in this example, I can use my S Pen to swipe right, swipe left, or even just take a photo. Not something you'll be using every time, but pretty handy. All right guys, this eighth tip is pretty cool and it's the wireless power share. So wireless power share, you can pretty much turn your device into a wireless charger. So first we're just gonna go to the search bar under settings and type wireless power sharing. Then we're gonna scroll down and click on wireless power sharing and enable the function. That's pretty much it. Now you can use your phone as a wireless charging device. Pretty neat. Now this next feature is a pretty useful one. I use this a lot and that's the extra dim function shortcut. So as you can see the little guy in the corner here, if you just tap that, your screen will dim instantly. So to enable this function, you wanna to go to settings, and then accessibility, then visibility enhancements. Then we're gonna scroll down and go to extra dim. Tap on extra dim and you can enable the feature plus adjust intensity of the dim. I found the best way to utilize this tool is to first set your screen brightness to the max, then raise the intensity to the max. That way you can adjust the intensity level that fits your needs. Awesome feature, I found this super handy. Now the last feature is a pretty new feature and it involves the camera. It's the 24 hour time lapse. So like I said, this is a pretty new feature and I believe you need the latest updated Samsung Gallery, so make sure you guys have that. So then we're just gonna open up the camera. Now for some reason, this only works on single take and I couldn't get it to work on other modes. I also wanna point out that this feature only works when you're shooting skyscraper shots, city buildings, the sky, mountains, and that sort of stuff. Here's a recent shot I took at the park, and as you can see, it's a cool 12 second, 24 hour time lapse. It's a pretty cool feature. I'm sure Samsung is working on making some improvements because it is a little buggy, and I couldn't get it to work every time. All right guys, that was my 10 useful tips and features for your Samsung device. And if you guys found this helpful, let me know by smashing the like button or by subscribing to the channel. All right guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.